Hey folks, how's it going? On with the Farsat Chat event, we have the Act 4, and this one has two different challenges. The first one with a healer, Samantha, which might be one of the more difficult ones. Hell, this is the second hardest stage I had to fight, mostly because the passive from Samantha is made global. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, nothing truly special in here, especially when it comes to the character's gear. Uh, the only thing to note is that I had to run Stormbreaker with the Judgment Tarot. Just a little bit of Dispel, just a little bit of extra damage. She also has the Dispelling Hammer that helps clear a little bit of buffs from all around. The main target here is just healer Samantha. I want her to try and take her down as fast as humanly possible so that she stops healing, because our AoE damage is also being lowered by the stage effect. So we're just starting taking down the first two uh, looks like generators here. Damage-wise, we don't really care about damage. Again, these guys are just going to heal and fully heal very, very soon. Yeah, even the counters from Safia don't really do that much. But once we take down this loot site, we wait for turn 3. On turn 3, we're going to start pushing forward and pushing real hard. Because the heals here from Samantha, they're not even limited to her mana. She doesn't do just 5 per turn, they're just infinite. So either you can one shot someone and also take care of them after the resolve is proc or you get kind of screwed so took down one healer next order of business is just going to be samantha <laughs> turn three and here we start with meta rushing forward with the character swap as well as giving her invulnerability so that she can stay safe from the two uh destruction units again looks like pillars first and since she's the only target within their range she can just wait here for this turn Execute to help clear the first wave of enemies. And thanks to the invincible hero, these two don't do anything to her. Again, pillars first, always the pillars first. And if the hangman goes down, it doesn't really matter. Honestly, this is AoE damage, even if they were to attack Meta, Meta wouldn't have countered anyway, so we're fine like this. A red sanctuary for the damage reduction on Meta, since she's going to lose the shield next turn. And since we cannot really reach Samantha this turn, we're just going slow with normal attacks. On the bright side, she doesn't heal herself. She still has resolve, but she doesn't heal herself. 
the, once she goes down, everything becomes extremely easy. Again, sadly, no space to move, and the movement order is still not off of cooldown. That were plenty fine, and since they've used both skills, Afia can freely counter. And this is a really big favor from Samantha. She actually came down and came into our attack range. Execute, no resolve, no anything. And from here on out, the stage is a free clear. One little negative thing is that the Wheel of Terror brings a lot of RNG into the mix, but the amount of damage with the follow-up of 16% health from Safia is absolutely amazing. Might have lost one unit, but at the same time, we didn't have the no kill requirements, so who cares? <laughs> That's it. Again, this one was likely the second hardest stage. Uh, the only stage I've struggled more than this has been the one with the shields, Gloria and Tiden. Okay then, this just leaves stage 5 as well as the DPS Samantha stage, which I'll have to try later. Until then, thanks a lot for watching and see you guys around soon. Ciao! Oh, you do that, cause